Okay, good morning, welcome to Twitter Math number four. Twitter Math number four. So, um, this wasn't really like the other Twitter Maths we've done, but this is just something I learned this morning when I got up and I kind of was reading through the news. Uh, something called the Odd Goldbach Conjecture has been proved by uh, Harold Helfgott. Um, maybe. Now, I just read about it, so I don't, I'm not sure, but I, I read something about it, so I think it might be true. And this is, this is part of one of the most famous uh, um, old unsolved problems in math. So the Goldbach conjecture says that every even number every even number greater than 2 is the sum of 2 primes. Okay, so for example, 8 is... You want to the odd... Well, I'm telling you what the Goldbach conjecture is first, so, so you can understand it. So, uh, 10, can you figure out 10 is the sum of 2 primes? 10 is 7 plus 3. Okay, and how about, let's just say, 24. Is... It has to be a plus. Uh, it has to be plus, yeah. 2 primes, sum of 2 primes equals 24. 19... Very good. Okay, so that's the that's the regular Goldbach conjecture. The odd Goldbach conjecture says every odd number, and so nobody knows how to prove that one yet, as far as I know. The odd Goldbach conjecture says every odd number greater than five, I'm pretty sure five, is the sum of three primes. Okay, so let's do some examples. Well, since it's greater than 5, we may as well start at 7. Can you figure out 7 is the sum of 3 primes? It's 2 plus 2 plus 3. Good job. How about 9? How about the next one? 3 plus 3 plus 3. Okay. May as well pick something harder. How about 20? How about 25? You forgot 25 is the sum of two of 3 primes, sorry. 19 plus 3 plus 3. Nice. Jeez. Maybe this guy, Harold, could have used your help here. <laughs> you're, you're flying through these. So, so he, so nobody knew, maybe until yesterday, I guess, <laughs> that you could do this for every odd number. So he's come up with some, some theory to, um, to do this. And, and I'll tell you something neat. He, when I was getting my PhD, he was an undergrad. Where, where I was getting my PhD, and um, there was a professor from MIT named Jim Prop who would come and work with him. Sometimes he would come, come out and, and do seminars and they would talk. So when I read this this morning, I recognized his name and I thought, gosh, why do I recognize that name? And then I, I looked him up and I was like, oh, I remember that kid. I, mean, I don't know him that well, but I remember him. So that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is a huge, huge day in math. So ready for a math celebration day? Yeah. Yay! Okay, good job, sweetie. Good job.